we were gifted an abundance of basil. Let's make everything with basil today. What's up everybody, welcome to the High Path channel. If you're new, my name is Rosa and this is Mercy, one of our daughters. As some of you have seen on our previous videos, our friend at Kids Dash Red Organization has gifted us with literally like a 55 gallon bag of fresh basil that they grew and they harvested. It was such a beautiful gift for us and we've been using it everywhere in a lot of things. And today we are going to show you what we really can use basil in. We're going to use basil in everything that we make in all day today, 24 hours, kind of 24 hours. <laughs> As you may know, basil is very prolific in the summertime, and um, we are going to be sharing with you some recipes and some ideas on how to use basil today uh, so we can give you some inspiration to make something out of basil. We are so excited. We love basil. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. I figured it would be really smart to tear off all the leaves and prepare it into a bowl so we can just use it whenever we need and it's all already prepared for us for the day. It is about 9 o'clock in the morning and it is time for breakfast so let's start off with some basil-y breakfast ideas. So I have a blender here. We are going to be doing some smoothies. Um, Let's start off with our smoothie. One way to get our basil in really easily is just to make a smoothie. So in our blender here, add the basil mercy, about a handful. We're gonna do some, what is this? Mangoes, frozen mangoes. There's straw, breeze. For a little bit of amino acids and protein, we're gonna add some hemp seeds. There. To sweeten it up, we've got some just organic agave. You can use some honey if you want. We're gonna add this in. And water to blend. You wanna put some ice in it? Is it good? Do you want more sweetness? Yes? All of it? Sure. Okay, let's taste. Ready? Interesting. You mm -hmm. like it? Yeah. Yes or no? Yes. Out of a hundred, no, out of ten, how much you think? Nine out of ten. Hmm? Nine out of ten. That's pretty good. Hmm. You can really taste the basil. We put about a handful of basil. You can definitely add less or more if you want to. What it's do you think, Marcy? Ten seeing? out of ten. Ten out of ten? You like it, huh? Mm hmm. Mm. That's good. Next idea on the list, we are going to be making a sort of a tofu spread. It's very high protein, of course, because of the tofu. And then it's going to be kind of like pesto-y, um, creamy. It's going to be a lovely spread on toast in the morning. And then we're going to toast up our bread and then spread this on. So I have a block of extra firm tofu. You could probably use like silken tofu or um, just regular tofu or whatever tofu that you have. Because tofu is soft, it's going to blend up into a creamy paste anyway. So I have it. I'm going to add this to our blender. Maybe I shouldn't blend it too much. Add some garlic in there. Basil, basil in there, some salt. Oh my, this is how high I am to you. Look. We just have some homemade bread that we made yesterday, which we stored in a little container, and we're gonna make some toast out of it. So I have the oven on broil. 
We're going to maybe we could drizzle a little bit of olive oil on there and then toast it up. It smells good. Yeah? Right. <laughs> Let's check. Oh, toast. Ew. Warm up. Warm up. That looks like avocados. Uh, I'll get this one. I'll get this one. Mm. Out of ten. Mm -hmm. That's good. Right up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Out of ten, the dog. Ten. Ten out of ten. Mm. That's an extra. Ten out of ten. Mmm. They all say ten out of ten. That's I good. Like the basil on it. Mm. If you're looking for a savory breakfast, really, really easy. Try this one. Ooh. Make your Don't worry, I can make it. I need it. Hundred out of hundred. Wow. Already right there, pretty down. Oh wow. I did you say a ten out of ten before? What about you, Israel? Ten out of ten. Yeah. Ten out of ten. Hmm. What are you guys, Mama? Nine, nine. Why only nine? I want, I want some more garlic. This is the best toast I've ever ate in my life. Oh, the garlic toast that I made. Alrighty, everybody. Lunchtime is here. It's time to make something that's easy and not too work extensive because we have, you know, it's the middle of the day and there's plenty of things that we need to do. So. I've got some red potatoes here. I was thinking of making a potato salad with a basil and lemon dressing. I was initially thinking about roasting these potatoes for a roasted potato salad, but I think I'm just gonna boil them today. So you can of course use like Yukon Gold. I find the waxier the potato, the better for any potato salad. So if you have a wax potato, like a red or a yellow, do use these. So I'm just chopping them up into small little pieces and then we're gonna put it into a pot, get it boiling, and we'll put the dressing on. So I have an idea of making a very quick sort of tart. It's uh, gonna be a vegetable tart for lunch today. So in here, I'm just going to add about, let's see, one, this is gonna be, I'm thinking it's gonna make one, one tart. So I've got about one and a half cups of flour. Okay. And we've got some coconut oil, about a half a cup. Before we add that in, we're gonna add a good pinch of salt. About a tablespoon or so of sugar. I'm just using some coconut sugar. Okay, now you're gonna mix that. Now you add the coconut oil. That's all of it. So you can see I am just stirring the oil in. It's gonna look kind of clumpy. And then we just need about, I mean, you honestly may not even need the 
water, but we'll see. I think we don't need the water, Mercy. Look. Nice and crumbly. See? I think it's good. You can see it's still nice and crumbly. If you hold it together, it can just hold together, and that's what we want. You can, of, of course, it's best to just, you know, make this and then let it sit in the refrigerator for a little bit, but we're, we don't have much time. So for lunch, everyone's hungry. I have a floured surface here. I'm gonna try to make it nice and round. That one looks better. Yeah, okay, now it's gonna be a little bit crumbly, okay? Well, it's not bad. Excuse me. One, two, three, up. Oh. Oops. Press. Press it nice and thin. Part. We're gonna put it in the oven at 425 for about 10 minutes or so. Our pie crust is out. We cooked it for about uh, 10 minutes or so in the um, the oven at 425 degrees. So now we're gonna make a filling for it. It is just partially cooked, so it's not cooked all the way through because we wanna make sure that we're gonna cook the rest of the ingredients in there as well. So for this filling, I have two cans of cannellini beans that we've rinsed and drained. I'm gonna put it into our blend blender. And then I also have a leftover sort of tofu mix uh, that we made for our breakfast. I'm gonna add that into here as well. You don't have to do this. You probably don't need it, but since we have it, I'm going to just add it. We got garlic in here as well. And then I'm gonna add some of this basil. Right up in there. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon or maybe two of flour, heaping tablespoons because it looks like I may have added a bit too much water back. I'm preparing some very easy vegetables. We just got some zucchini and tomatoes. Actually, now that I'm thinking, they're both actually fruit. <laughs> they both have seeds. They're actually considered fruit. Anyway, we are pouring about half of this mixture onto the bottom. We're then gonna fill it up with some of this vegetables. We just are layering the zucchinis and tomatoes really nicely. Technically, you don't really need to make the insides really nice, but just layer it however you want. I wanna make sure that each bite gets like a tomato and a zucchini. We're gonna season it with some salt and then we're gonna pour in the second half of the tofu mixture. Now we're working on the top of the pie or the tart. This is where your aesthetics come in. You wanna make sure that it's nice and pretty on the top. This pie is gonna go into the oven for about 20, 30 minutes or so, I'd say, at 425, and we'll check up on it in a little bit. I have a little bit, a bit of an experiment. So I have a pie crust here with two cups of flour. Do two tablespoons of sugar. This is just uh, organic coconut sugar. And we just need a little bit of salt. Good teaspoon or so of salt. And then I'm going to add about half a cup of water. We'll see where we are at before I add too much water. So I hope you could see this, but basically the flour is still nice and shaggy. There is some sandy bits in here. We're going to work it together, just kind of, we don't want to work it we don't want to overwork it. We want to make sure that the pie crust just barely hangs on to each other, if that makes sense. We may need a little bit more water. It looks a little bit dry. And it's, um, you kind of have to let this sit a little bit so it can kind of, you know, become pie or a pie crust, but if you just want to purchase pie crust, go ahead and just do that at the store. I've got some pesto, which we've made yesterday. 
I'm gonna add this to my tart. I'm gonna spread this liberally because we love pesto so much. I'm gonna do some tomatoes. And now this is gonna go into the oven at a higher temperature. Um, I would say about 450 degrees for about 10, 15 minutes and we'll check up on it. Our potatoes are done. Actually, it's been done a while. So we are now going to put this into a bowl and we're gonna make a dressing for it. So we've got some lemons. We're going to put about one lemon and I have a half a lime left over. So we're gonna put that in there. We have about a teaspoon or so of Dijon mustard. We've got some salt going in, of course. Potatoes do need lots of salt. We did boil the potatoes with salted water, but just add some salt. Make sure that you taste as you go. So we have that. What else do we need? We need, oh, the red onions. I did chop some red onions. That's going to go into the bowl with the potatoes. And of course, our secret ingredient, which is basil. So... I'm gonna roughly chop a handful of basil. You can kind of do like a chiffonade of the basil or like, you know, roll it up and then kind of chop it up. But today I am just going to roughly, roughly chop it. So the basil, I'm just gonna put it into our bowl. So garlic going into the sauce and a good drizzle of olive oil. Delicious. Delicious. I think we need more basil. This is our spread for lunch today. There's so much good stuff on this table. So let's dig in and taste test you guys. Yeah. What's a quiche? Oh. Look good. This is how it tastes delicious. You like it? Mm, delicious. Delicious? Yeah, this is a good one. Ooh, that's hot. It's <laughs> not. This is what I was waiting for. Pizza mia. Actually, this pie crust is better than this one. Yeah, uh -huh. no. I didn't buy this. Look, I didn't Mm, that's good enough. The pie is the best one. The pie is the best? Nice. So after we sat down and ate lunch and you know did school and everything, Emmanuel, our oldest son, he came over and he was like, "Ma, I ate like three or four pieces of this quiche or pie or whatever this thing is. It was so good and he devoured it. He loved this delicious recipe. So if you are in the mood for like a quiche or something like that and uh, you just have a ton of basil, use it in this recipe. It's seriously really good. It is dinner time and honestly, this whole house smells like basil, huh? Everything smells like basil from the moment I came out of my office. Everything smells so basil-y and it's so good. So it's dinner time. It is time to make a basil dish for dinner. I am inspired. I am thinking of combining many, many different things together. So the classic combination of uh, sweet potatoes and black beans, plus the 
tastes and the way that we make the pat gar pao, which we have a full video if you're interested in making your own Thai basil stir fry, check out the video in the description. We made a tofu version, it's bomb. So we have the sweet potato and black bean combo, plus a pat gar pao combo, plus a curry with coconut milk. I think this combo is gonna be like, I mean, what's there not to like about sweet potato and black putty beans and pat gar pao and curry? So if you combine them all together, we get something that should be delicious. Theoretically. Yes. All right, so let's get started. I am going to chop up some ingredients. Mercy, you're going to do some ginger, garlic, and chili in here. So in here, we have a combination of chili flakes, which is just our organic chili flakes. You can definitely use fresh chilies if you have. And we've got three cloves of garlic and I've got some chopped ginger. So we're going to mortar and pestle and uh, just crush it, crush it until it's a uh, nice pasty. While I'm gonna chop up the rest of the ingredients. Careful, it may be hot, okay? So we're gonna give the peppers and the onions a little bit to cook. And then now I'm gonna start adding the sweet potatoes in. Honestly, that was actually very super simple to put together. Uh, now, you could definitely make some rice and eat it with this. We're actually just gonna eat it as a stew, like a curry stew. Um, we don't have time to make rice today. Usually, uh, brown rice takes a little bit longer than white rice, but yeah, if you, have, if you have leftover rice, this will be a good time to use it. Or if you just have, if you just wanna make some rice right now, this is going to be covered and simmering for about 20 minutes or so, just until the sweet potatoes are nice and soft. And we're gonna add some coconut milk to make it nice and rich and creamy. And of course, our holy, no, our our basil, our Italian basil. For a Thai pakra pao, or like a Thai basil stir fry, you are supposed to be using holy basil. If you don't have that, you have Thai basil. I found that this like Italian basil, just regular basil, tastes similar to holy basil. So that's why it's a good substitute. The curry is ready for the coconut milk, so we're gonna add one whole can. Yeah. And there. I love when the color changes to a nice creamy color. As you can see, we still have a whole bowl of basil left over. So we're gonna use maybe half of this. I kind of want to reserve the basil. I, I, this is so precious to me. Like I don't want to part ways with it, but I know we have to use it. It's just been such a blessing and so, so good in everything. Ah. But yeah, we'll probably do like half. Yeah, maybe, we'll see. That looks so good, Mercy. Smell it, does it smell good? Do we need some more seasonings? It smells like basil. Cheese. Cheese? We're just testing the sweet potatoes just to make sure it's nice and soft. So find the fattest ones. It's not soft. It's hard still? So let it just... Taste test time. This looks lovely. It smells lovely. This Cheers. is so comforting. Now, like I said, you should definitely make some rice with this if you are gonna make this. Um, you can definitely just serve it with some naan bread if you have, or 
we have some leftover hot dog buns <laughs> we're going to make use of. So, taste test. Abaya, halaya for this yummy meal. Thank you for this food. Thank you for everything you provided us in the name of your Hisha Hamashiach. We pray. Halaya. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna taste just the curry itself. Mmm. Yeah. That is delicious. Spicy. It is a little spicy. If you don't like spice, you don't have to add the spice. It's so good. Israel, taste test this. It's like a curry mixed with hot pow with Oh, it's just so good. This flavor is delicious. It's very spicy. Is it very spicy? I think it's a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 is good. I think it's 10 out of 10. With some rice. Mm. I just don't like spice. Because spicy. You could definitely also mash this up for a little bit of a more mashed sweet potato. But other than that, oh my goodness, this tastes. And it's so easy to make as well. I highly mm. recommend you try this. It's good, isn't it? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, Grace said. Kind of take a long time to cook. Because mm -mm. of sweet potatoes. Alrighty, everybody. I really hope that you enjoyed spending time with us in the kitchen making all things basil. If you're new, we'd love for you to subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.